I greet everyone and uh, I wish you the best life can offer. I just wanted to look at um, what has become of uh, a movement that has cost many lives of our people. What was supposed to be a movement, unfortunately, that turned out to be a private business, a private venture. A business that had um, salary earners on payroll. A movement is run by the volunteer effort of uh, members volunteering their time. You don't get paid for doing this kind of people focused movement for a political change, a lasting political change. Last year, a little over a year ago, I, sh I shared my thoughts uh, on what has become, on what became of a group that uh, I was once part of and I did everything to project before the world that it's a body that represented the cause of our people. Unfortunately, many people did not get the message back then until today. They are continuing in their effort to push lies, outright lies that have no basis, no foundation, no backing, nothing. And in trying to enlighten our people, Many see it as, oh no, why are you still bothered? Even Namde Khan is in jail. Why are you still, I mean, he's being detained by Nigeria. Why are you still mentioning his name? Why are you still focusing on him? Well, I have information for you. I still mention Namde Khan because the damage that Khan started is still ongoing through his DOS, the leaders of IPOB in London, and uh, wherever they are, some in US, and others in Europe. They, they have not yet seen the light. They have not yet read the handwriting on the wall that the game is up. They are still trying to push. They are still trying to continue playing along. Like there was anything that we were really working toward. And I say, it's all lies that which i said last year i'm even reinforcing it right now that kano and the leadership of ipob including uche mefo it's not up to a year that mefo got eased out first they stopped paying him his three thousand pounds monthly salary and uh, not long after he was forced out and then he began to say things that doesn't really make sense. I don't want to waste my time with him, but let him let Uchemefo not pretend like he wasn't part of the deception all this while over the years. Otherwise, if he wasn't, maybe he could have made a difference as the deputy leader of IPOB while Namde Kano was. Uh, in his first uh, detention in Nigeria, 2015, I believe, until he got freedom around 2017, before his home got stormed uh, on September the 14th, 2017. Now, Uche Mefo was part of the group that traveled within Namde Kano to Geneva to go take pictures. And they came out holding press conference. Like they went inside there to do some official business on behalf of Biafrans. It was all picture taking 
tourism happening. The same thing happened inside the U.S. Capitol Hill. Uche Mefo was telling the camera guy, hey, make sure that I appear on video, make sure I appear on video. I mean, if you are really doing the work of our people, why would you be so focused on appearing on camera? They were just walking through the hallway and anybody can go through the hallway of the U.S. Congress within the areas that they allow visitors to visit. But our people were being sold lies like they are real deal. Unfortunately for them, not all of us were sold on those lies. And the truth has a way of coming out. And it's been coming out, except that we never paid attention. And many of our people don't read. We're so worried about reading. We're so scared of reading. And because of that, we miss a lot. A lot of information goes down the drain because we didn't pay attention, we didn't read, we didn't think about it, we didn't... In fact, many prefer that others think, read, and digest, and then share with them briefly, if at all. That's the mindset of some of our people. And you don't have to be highly educated to be able to read, because in reading you get educated. So what I was saying about IPOB is that my interest is to make sure that our people do not continue in the delusion. The goal is to make sure that our people know what is going on. That those who have been working all these years for the good of our people have been doing it quietly, silently, without raising any dust without threatening nobody. And by the way, let me speak on the thing called cult. A cult can be for good or for bad. Every gang, in fact, there are biker gangs, there are hell's angels, and there are other ones that do say they are bikers and they do good things. Some do not so good things. In the case of IPOB, it's a private business that is incorporated in London. In fact, the documents to this business was updated this year. So it has the name of Namde Kano and his wife as the owners of the business that own Radio Biafra London. So part of the activities of uh, IPOB is cultural education, which the radio broadcast is supposed to represent. From cultural education and enlightenment, IPOB that claimed to be fronting for Biafra became a threat, Tondibo in particular, especially after the leader, leadership of IPOB with the arrowhead being in Namdekano, decided that taking revenge for the extrajudicial killings of its members was the right thing to do. And my question way back before all these things came to where it is now was, are we really ready to do this? Are we really ready, prepared to engage this way? Well, the IPOB became a terror to our people. Tondibo, number one. It's no longer about staying home in other states, but to shut down our place, Alibo, in particular, Southeast. Government start going all over the place in the name of ESN, and then Nigeria may have also joined in the fray. 
killing our people left and right. A lot of people, some people, and I wouldn't say a lot, some people deny the fact that it is Namde Kano and his men that were doing it, but we know that ESN is involved. And once ESN, an offshoot of IPOB, the military wing of IPOB, set up by Namde Kano, made public by Namde Kano, we know that the rehearsal took place in Iguacha, Port Harcourt, during the NSARS protest last year. Kano was urging people on to do things, to do stuff that will set our people on fire. Once this group became a threat to our people, it essentially became a terrorist group against our own people. It lost the right to front for our people. It lost the moral right to even claim to be doing anything in the, for the good of anybody east or west of the Niger. And so I urge Namde Kano and his members of DOS, including Simon Eba, who is not